next time you're out and about hankering for a snack, go home and watch one of Irene Lee's online dumpling tutorials. There's something about dumplings that just gets people excited. Lee used to have a food truck with her siblings. Today she owns May May in Boston. Since COVID-19, Lee has transitioned to takeout, focusing on prepared foods and her best seller. These are not your grandmother's dumplings. They're really inspired by the Northeast and all the different multicultural foods we grew up eating as kids here in Boston. Today's dumpling of the day is vegetarian. It's kind of a take on a Polish pierogi or even a Jewish knish. That's one of my absolute favorites. Definitely kind of a, a heavier, greasier, savorier comfort food. Lee calls the stuffing glorified mashed potatoes. We add cabbage cheddar cheese, lots of scallions, some kale, lots of salt, pepper, and butter. And it doesn't take long to make. From folding the dumplings to cooking and eating them is a, probably a 20 minute to half an hour process. And the best part is you can store them away in the freezer and then anytime you have a dumpling emergency, you've got that stockpile on hand. Lee suggests beginners use round store-bought dumpling wrappers. It's a little bit easier to learn all the different folds. Dip our fingers in a little bit of water and moisten the outer edge of the wrapper. Be careful and don't add too much filling. Fold the wrapper in half and pinch it around the edges. We bring the two corners in for a little hug and that is how we get our super cute plump dumpling belly button shape. Other shapes allow more browning. We sort of bring up three sides to meet at the very top. And then we have all of this nice surface area on the back that's gonna become a golden brown delicious crust on the bottom of the dumpling. Pleated dumplings are often seen in Chinese restaurants. This dumpling shape is, I think, the prettiest, and it also allows you to fit the most dumplings in a pan. We make all these folds, and then the inside of the dumpling is totally smooth. No folds on that side. Lee recommends using a non-stick or cast iron pan on medium heat with high heat friendly cooking oil. Then let the magic happen. Lee says nearly every culture has some version of a dumpling. The dumpling format comes out of the necessity of needing to stretch a small amount of food across a large number of people. It's gonna go a lot farther if you make it into a lot of little parcels of deliciousness. These little parcels have been sizzling for a couple of minutes. Ooh, that's perfect. This is my favorite color in the rainbow. Golden brown delicious. Time to add some water. And then we're gonna start steaming the dumplings in the same pan that we fried them in. And we'll leave these underneath the lid for probably four or five minutes. As we're cooking off the last bit of water, we're going to take a little bit of cornstarch and water, make a little slurry, and then we're gonna pour some of that into the pan. And as it cooks up, it's going to make a delicious sort of lacy cracker crust around the bottom of each dumpling. A few minutes later. So these are our snowflake dumplings, and all you need is a little bit of sauce, and these are ready to go. Those look fantastic. Chef Irene Lee offers virtual classes. In addition to teaching people how to make dumplings, she also teaches students how to hand make pulled noodles and how to sharpen their knife and walk skills. And that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Go get some food, won't you? Good night. <laughs>